joining me on today's tip of the week. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature in the TotalMD16, which is called the task list. The task list, just like it sounds, is just a list of tasks that can be created by anybody and assigned to anybody. You can access it from any part of the program simply by clicking the F12 key on your keyboard and the list of tasks will come up. Now this list that by default will show will be the list associated with the user that I'm logged in as. So in this case is the doctor. These are the tasks associated with him. You'll notice there's a description, a due date, uh, who it's for, and a priority level. All that can be set up when you're setting up a new task by right clicking and clicking new task and there's the different information that you can put in there. So I'm going to quickly create a new task. We can assign a priority level. If we want to assign it to somebody other than ourselves, we just click on the drop down and choose one of the other users. Give it a due date. And if we want it to show up with a highlighted color to kind of warn us or, or give us a visual indicator or something, we can click on that and then complete it on. It's not yet been completed, so we're going to go ahead and leave that blank and we'll save it. Now these red or pinkish colored ones, those are ones that were marked to alert on. It just means that the date that we put in that field there is today or sometime past. So the date for the alert has come and it's not yet completed. If for example, we completed this task, we can just right click on it, mark as complete, and it'll automatically assign today's date to it as being completed today. If we want to go back and change what we're viewing, like if we want to see everybody's or we wanted to see even completed options, you know, we could do that and it would show us all of the tasks there. But by default, it's only going to show us the tasks associated with each individual user. Not only can you change the view like we did here, we can also change the way it's sorted. We want to sort by something else like by user, we could click on that and then it's just going to show it to us in alphabetical order by user. Another way to see the task list is not so much as a pop-up, but just as one of the lists in general. So if you go here to task list window, that'll be the window that we just saw. But if you just click on just task list, it shows in a list format just like all of our other lists in the program. And here you have the ability to customize your view, your filters, and whatnot. You also have the ability to create new tasks from here, which again, it has the same information. It's just in a little bit of a different setup. So if you prefer the pop-up box, it'll just kind of show up on top of whatever screen you're in. You can use the F12 key or you can also come in here and do open task list or come up to list and task list window and that'll pop up. Otherwise you can just use the regular list like everything else. This is a great way to make sure things get done where you can assign people different tasks and keep track of your own tasks so you can get those things accomplished around the office that you need to. Thanks for joining me on today's tip of the week. We hope you'll join us again next time. Thank you.